Hello everyone, welcome to SuccessfulTradings.com on this uh, Easter weekend. Hoping that uh, you enjoy a relax and uh, uh, you were able to spend time with uh, your loved one during this Easter. So today's video, I am going to be talking about um, the strategy that I use for earnings option to trade options around earnings so uh, without any further ado let us go ahead and get started very good okay so I have uh, this statistic published by YouTube that uh, pretty much tells me what type of videos um, the subscribers and the general public get to to view the most uh, it's surprising to me that uh, maybe it was the time of the publication because the last two times that we talked about earnings and our strategy on how we go about trading them, these are those videos here. So if you don't know by now, uh, Successful Trading has um, over just close to 60 videos really, I believe. So when you come to the channel, there is a main playlist that uh, you can just go and browse. And I invite you just for your education in this process of uh, how to learn to trade options to become a successful trader, uh, binge on this. So puts, uh, puts away uh, Ozark and uh, what's, what's the other one? Uh, Tiger King, okay. So Tiger King and binge on, binge on this video and then ask questions. We will be more than glad to, to clarify them for you. So we did these two, two videos somehow a while back. That was in January. Uh, to showcase uh, the danger that exists, especially in uh, new beginner traders in trading options uh, purposely before the earnings. And uh, the, the, there's this trap that the market maker have because it's easy for them pretty much to just uh, make those options useless. Uh, but if you are, you can be disciplined and patient, we are going to show you a methodology on how to actually have uh, to generate very high percentage trade uh, after the option has been released. So that's the aim, uh, the goal for this video today, and we are going to show you how to do that. So nonetheless, if you want a very practical example, because this is going to be the theory about that, we're going to be posting practical example that's uh, uh, pointing you to practical examples that we have used before, and we are posted on this channel of actually generating great gains. So uh, go to this video for Netflix that was published on January 21st, and uh, we, we can you can learn pretty much what happened in Option Under. I believe there there were two parts. Uh, there was the case study, and then there were, there was this uh, other one. Those two videos, my friends. They are the least viewed videos on the channel. You beat me. Next to them, in terms of uh, least viewed video in the channel, the puts. Any video where I talk about puts, <laughs> they do not get to be watched. So that tells me one thing. And trust me, that's pretty much the perspective of what the market maker they have. They know that the general population, uh, if you take just a random trader, they random traders actually bullish so meaning they buy calls and well guess what over 66 percent of those calls they expire worthless so knowing this information if i was a beginner again and trust me i went through that i i have um an article that i published on uh, successfultrading.com blogging where i study uh, my first six months i don't know if it was my first six months or what i study all my trades and <laughs> At least it was on one stock. Yeah, this one was just on one specific stock. So it was on one specific stock. I think 95% of my trade on that stock, there were calls. <laughs> so, I wise up since then, trust me. So, but um, there's actually a funny story about uh, this, this thing that, well, funny story. Well, yeah, at least an anecdote that I'm going to share with you at the very end. So let me make a note of that. Uh, that, that, that uh, uh, what's happened when you're trying to, you, you, you play around... Uh, earnings with with options okay so very good well what it was is a technique on here the technique pretty much let, let's reiterate it is restrain yourself from buying you know that uh, an, um, an earning is coming like this coming week uh, the kickoff of the earnings is it's, it's given by uh, the some of the banks so jp morgan bank of america bank of america uh, goldman sachs uh, wells fargo 
uh, Morgan Stanley of the like, they're all going to be featured between uh, Tuesday and Friday. So, and especially for banks, I will definitely not be trading them before the, 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 the announcer earnings because I don't know the direction. So, um, there is one strategy that some one could employ but still has its limitation which is oh i buy a call and a put and i pray that the move is big enough such that one direction can go that strategy is costly let's put it that way for for some of the stock it can be very costly so except if it's really low to and it's a very small amount of your capital i wouldn't be relying it on it as a consistent again the goal of becoming a successful trader is what being con generating gain consistently we don't care if those gains they are like let's say 20 percent trust me if on your small account you're able to do 20 percent every week my friend you can stack those gains and before you know it if you're like you're bowling i kid you not but most traders they will go especially at the beginning uh, of the profession of the journey in uh, learning how to trade they want to go with uh, for the home run the big the, the, the big thing and that really does not bode well for for the future so what we are teaching on here is to consistently generate uh, take money out of the market so for that for earnings the approach that we are suggesting and we have actually studied this a great deal we are going to be publishing an ebook uh, for you guys i'm not sure yet if uh, this is going to be free right now we have our first free of, um, offering on the website which is um, a stock option dictionary that uh, you can download for free by going just to www.successfultradings.com this other resource here actually will generate you money if you actually apply it so as of now i'm debating how am i gonna go about it so for motivated individual uh, you can go on my website, send me an email on uh, giving me the reason why I should be giving you this knowledge for free as the earnings season is approaching to make money. So here's what we are, we are trying to do here at Successful Trading. Or not we try, we have actually been using this during earnings season. This was my reason why I was telling you that during earnings season, I feel like a baby in a candy store because for me, I just sit back, relax. I know that there is enough volatility after the earnings are released on the majority of the stock for me to make money without having to sweat it uh, at some um, uh, 4, 4, 16, 4, 20, you know, that adrenaline pumping that the, the results are and how the market's going to react because trust me, I've, I've gone through that when I was, yeah, a beginner. Yeah, trust me, trust me. You can really get the rush of that. Oh, let me just trade them and see. Well, most of the time, you're going to lose money. You're going to lose money. But if you wait the next day, Here's what this study has shown us. So we are we are showcasing this to you here on just any example, on example of stock that we have. We have a watch list of about almost close to 80 stocks. So again, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna create an ebook with the content going to be these analysis, this quantitative analysis that's well done by the team here at Successful Trading. So over the last how many years? So three years. Yeah, I think that that's what this is. So four earnings every 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 year, right? So for this stock, uh, pretty much the aim was to study the behavior. What happened? This is a uh, average closing price the day before the earnings. What it does at the open, and then the here we are measuring the delta. The time here is that uh, AMC after market close. So here, this number. What does this column mean? This column means that this is telling us how much the stock has moved in percentage between the opening after the earning has been announced. Same thing for the second day, same thing for the third day. And then on the opposite direction, how much has moved down between the opening and the low for that first day or, or after the earning, the second day after the earning and so forth. What are we going to, what are we looking for? You can use this information in two manners. The first one is for you to weed out some of the stock. If you have this for, let's say, all of the stock that are, are having their earnings on a given week, right? For you, you don't have enough capital. Maybe some of you may, may have enough capital. Hey, well, we need to talk. <laughs> but just joke aside, <laughs> you, you don't have enough capital to, play, to, to trade every single one of them. So this data, this quantitative analysis data is going to help you measure the movement, the stock that moved the most uh, in a short period of time, which is for us, we have devoted our time here for the three days 
after the earnings have been released. Why after those three days? Because that's where the most of the, the movement happens. And also is that uh, during a short, short, a short time, we actually can leverage the, the, the options because the implied volatility will come down immediately after that. That's how you lose money, by the way. That's how market makers make you lose money without the stock moving or anything. Or even if the stock moves in your favor, you both call, the stock is up 5% and the next day your options that are losing money. Check the implied volatility. Go and look at the, that example of the video that we showcase in January on Netflix. It happened again and it happens every time. People are still falling for it. So here at Successful Trading, we want you to wise up from the get-go. Do not spend time learning, going through that learning curve. So here in this case, you will learn that, for instance, uh, what's, this, what's the, the, the ticker for this one? I think the ticker for this one is COUP. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, well, well, do we want to draw it? Uh, what does it? Okay. Uh, nope, I don't want red, please. Go on, give me a color. Green. Yeah, okay, whatever. Blue. Okay. Okay, in any case, I, obviously I cannot draw. I'm not sure exactly what's 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 going on with uh with my oh how about the size? Okay. So is it drawing anything? Okay, still not. Okay, whatever. So here for us you will learn you will then learn that okay, uh, by over the, the, the course of this statistically what is the most likely direction that the stock will like to go in any case for me i really do I, sometimes i focus on that sometimes i don't i just want to see that there is movement meaning what am i looking at here i'm looking at you seeing percentages obviously the market has been volatile, volatile this year so uh, or lately at this 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 quarter but typically after an er on a day like this a five percent move is a lot so in in this on this date here june of 2018 Calls will have been the way to go on here. And then the following day, calls as well. But on the third day, it will have been put. These, my friends, they lent themselves to a very, very successful strategy, which is strangles, right? So here, I'm going to use the average move on here to give me an idea how much I want to go on my puts in terms of strike and how much I want to go on my on my calls to sector strikes. So and then uh, you will benefit from this. But in any case, you know that there is a high percentage that uh, you will be getting some um, volatility. And for option trading, we want volatility, the right kind, when we are already in the, in the position. Here's another example on here. Uh, Etsy is another big mover. So same thing, I think, yeah. So it was, it was updated as was the last ER in uh, February, so meaning the next ER will be in May. May is not that far, actually, in my mind, I was looking like May. May is not about three, three weeks time. So, and on the first day, uh, we have had, you have had days where after open, again, this is after, this is the Delta here is the move from the previous close to the open. So that's what the, the, the Delta is, right? So, but this Delta for us, we are not going for that. We are saying, okay, we wait. So. This, the number we are looking at are after this has happened, now on that day, what was the move? So we see 6% here, 11%, 9%, 10%, 8%. My friend, if this earnings, let's say it's on a Thursday or on a Wednesday, and you get that on the weeklies, meaning those expiring Friday, oh boy, those are sweet and they are cheap. That's the beauty of it because between buying them here, on the day before the earning and buying them there the, the, on the day after is night and day. These are going to these weekly are going to be cheap. But even if you take the next week because the move here, if you see a lot of things here and the earnings on on Thursday, don't don't put most of your capital on that Friday one. Put them on the next one Friday. Then you can just sit back, relax, and chill. Uh, so on, in this case here, look at HC, bunch of five percent, five six percent, six percent. 6% the next day, 6% the next day, and so forth. So this one, uh, one will say that um, in average, you expect um, the movement, the day that it tends to go down a little bit on the two, three days following 
following it print. But the movement, the overall movement is what is making us take that trade because there's a high probability that there's going to be a move. And for us, taking that position, especially if we're going to take it overnight, we're going to hedge it. So we're going to hedge it by having a strangle on it. And this data, the value of this data is that it gives us a clear indication on what percentage to use the percentage for 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 that uh, that strangle in terms of either either direction. That's how we trade options during earnings season. And uh, I'm hoping that um, most of you, <laughs> if you are going to make this video your reference for trading or options around uh, earning earning season wishes wishes to kick uh, to kick off um, next starting next Tuesday with a couple of banks but it start in earnest the week after that so by then we will have uh, the ebook an ebook published um, and available on the successfultrading.com uh, the only question as of now is to see uh, are we going to give it free to our subscriber and sell it to the rest of the public so please go to successfultradings.com send us uh, a message as most of you have been doing have been doing now and tell us the reason why uh, what you think we should be doing for this data and if you want to get it from us and how it will be helping you in your trading endeavor we appreciate your time we hope to see you soon on this very channel bye bye hello and welcome to successfultradings.com